Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. This is part three, uh, the final part of this series. And uh, we're just showing now um, a little bit of the prep of the base work and compaction, tying the steel, doweling into the garage. Um, I think we've run some dowels into the porch too. I don't remember if we did that or not. But uh, we're gonna show all this setup and the pour. And we're gonna do a sand wash on this one. And we're going to try to match the driveway with the porch, even though that porch will probably get covered with a one foot Spanish tile. We're just going to show the difference between washing concrete, getting a sand wash the same day versus hitting it with a retardant and pressure washing the second day and see how closely those finishes match each other. To see, this will show how necessary retardant really is. It's hard to see it on that porch, but that bottom step from that chalk line to the top step um, is a different height because anticipating the uh, Spanish tile going on to make up for the difference. We left a little bit of about a six inch, four inch border around the whole existing wall. And that's a stucco wall framed just wood framed and it's been there about 80 years and it's stucco and it's still solid you can see they added a couple inside pipes though probably to stabilize or it might have been an old conduit for that matter so I'm putting expansion foam between the garage and driveway also I'll put some of that at the back of sidewalk between driveway and city sidewalk Here's the screed board. The screed board is somewhat of a valley coming through there that gets the water out of the backyard area. It drains it away from the garage door and it comes out of the backyard and it follows that screed board which is semi valley out to the front. Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. Just arrived on the job site, 7 a.m. Getting ready to pour this. Concrete pumpers here. Got my brand new smart level just to check the percentages on this grade. That way I know the exact percentage uh, and not have to do any math at all. Let's take a look at it. You get one of these and basically you don't need to know math for the most part unless you want to convert percents to inches. But this also does that too. This will convert your inches. They'll convert percentage and degrees to inches per foot. So this pretty much does everything. What do we got here? One percent, huh? I've got this set at one percent right now. Let's pull it up. Pull it up here and see what happens. Yeah, see that? Now we're at zero. See, depending on where you put it, I have zero tolerance set on this. You can actually set it for 0 0.05 tolerance, 0 0.10 tolerance. Right now I have it zero tolerance, so very sensitive to have this set up right now. And then if we go through the uh, menus on this, here's your modes. Right now I'm set at percents. You can do angles, inches, feet. You can do millimeters, meters. Also, you can actually set your target like say you want two percent you can actually uh, put it at two percent here so when you move it and then if you turn the sound on what will happen is you'll get a, a different tone whether you have to go up or down and when you're on the money you'll get a green light here um, I haven't really toyed with this much this is really the first time I busted it out but I'm gonna be doing a, doing a giveaway on these also I'm gonna give away uh, two two of these because Milwaukee sent me a couple extras and uh, basically they just want to get them out there get them used so I'm gonna give them away I, I know uh, I know they'll get used that way anyway uh, let's get it on on this pour all right well the key word to um, get entered into that drawing for the Milwaukee is uh, the key word will be uh, I want the Milwaukee smart level 
anybody comments that detail in there um, is in the drawing then I just random actually I use a Google picker and it just randomly picks people out of uh, everyone that gets entered Now this is that mobile one synthetic right out of my truck used that I like to spray on the forms. Yeah, when they said that mobile one, that full synthetic lasts longer than conventional, they weren't lying because I get all kinds of use out of it. Oh, I didn't have enough a long enough rod board, so I nailed two together. That worked out for about 12, 30 minutes until our arms got tired because it was too heavy. But it was really straight. And the width of it kind of uh, bowl floated at the same time. I ended up investing in a new aluminum screed uh, rod boards. I've got a 10 footer and a 12 footer now and those were made by Kraft. And they're about 125 bucks a piece but now I have um, two straight edges that are designated rod boards and straight edges. They've been coming in real handy and uh, you'll see them in some of my next videos for sure because that's all I use now. So we gotta bull float this on the way out because we don't have a lot of access. We actually are gonna be going in and out through the house to get into the backyard once we pour out here. I guess we could have jumped the fence, but it's about an eight footer. And it's got a uh, wrought iron on top. So we ended up going through the house. So we got the four foot magnesium bowl float going here perpendicular to the rod direction which is always a good thing and then we got the six foot Milwaukee red stick finishing it off on the end. We're going to be doing a light sand wash on this. Um, we're going to be doing it differently than we did the porch. The porch we rinsed the same day just with water and no retardant. This one we'll trowel out and we'll spray it with uh, top cast number three and then uh, we'll come back and pressure wash it the next day. We'll see how closely it matches the porch in the driveway. Now we're gonna we really want to do saw cuts everywhere to keep the joints not not so visible and uh, easy to skateboard around on and do whatever you want with wheels on it but we have to do a couple spots just to get us through the night because a lot of times these these will crack off of these corners overnight and then it's too late to control the cracking so we put a couple key locations uh, the day of the pour 
and then we come back and uh, cut it up into smaller sections. Okay, I'm starting to spray the top cast right now and it was a uh, real challenge to spray this stuff because uh, the top cast has got a lot of chunks in it so what I've determined is to either not use top cast at all and just do a wet rinse like I did the porch same day or I'm gonna have to get some of that uh, cheese cloth or some kind of something to strain the liquid through before I put it in the sprayer because even when you machine mix it for five minutes according to the instructions you still got chunks in there that clog up the sprayer every about three minutes and then you got to clear it and pump it clear it pump it real nightmare but the good news is I've got a new sprayer and it's a Milwaukee um, battery powered backpack that's what I'm going to be using in the future and it has a built-in strainer for any liquid you pour in the top it's already in there so I can't wait to do that because I could have my backpack on spraying this stuff and not have to pump it. And I could be troweling it at the same time because that's on my back. So, I mean, it'll be like a one-man one band. Here we are next day after the driveway pour. And that porch we rinsed um, same day with no retardant. And now we're blasting off that top cast second day we're going to see how closely the two match see how uh, necessary those retardants really are we've got our saw cuts in there the whole works See if we can get a close up on that driving porch for a match out. Yeah, you can't really tell, you can't tell the difference. And that top cast isn't isn't cheap either, by the way. That stuff's expensive. So if you can get away with a water rinse, uh, that's what I would do. Look at the fiber sticking up there. That's when you know they're in there. When you can see them. Oh, that's a good close-up. little residual down there on the bottom I do believe I wire brushed that off though fortunately it doesn't look like it's in this video but anyway thank you for watching the video and have a good day make sure you uh hit those keywords to get try to get that smart level have a good one